So, you want to stay friends with your dinner guests? Well, here's a hint. Don't reheat these 10 foods under any circumstances. Go out to dinner last night. Chances are you brought home the leftovers, and they're sitting in your fridge right now. But before you break out the styrofoam carton, pop it in the microwave and chow down. You should know that there are some foods that actually turn poisonous when reheated. Stay tuned to learn which leftovers you're better off eating cold to avoid nasty side effects. Hey, and don't forget to click the subscribe button and turn on notifications to join us on the bright side of life. Counting down from number 7. Mushrooms Whether they're in a soup or stir-fry, reheating mushrooms in the microwave or on the stove is a big no-no. While they may not look that different after you reheat them, their composition of protein changes in the microwave. They can also take on a slightly different taste after being reheated. This change in composition can cause you to have an upset stomach, and they also lose their health benefits. If you have leftover risotto or another mushroom dish, you're better off eating it cold. Number 6. Eggs Similar to mushrooms, eggs are packed with protein that changes once it's reheated. This can wreak havoc on your digestive system. In fact, eggs can become toxic when exposed to a microwave's high temperatures. But don't start throwing away all your leftover soups and sauces just yet. If eggs are an ingredient in a dish of yours, microwaving it won't necessarily make it toxic. But if you're reheating an omelet or a hard-boiled egg, for example, it can be very harmful to your body. Now, on top of all that, reheated eggs can taste eh, kind of rubbery and bland. Blah. However, if you like to live dangerously and absolutely have to heat up previously cooked eggs, the Food and Drug Administration advises that the reheated eggs must reach an internal temperature of 165 degrees Fahrenheit. Since microwaves distribute heat unevenly, it's best not to reheat them that way. It's also better to heat them back up in a pan or oven. The FDA also says that microwaving raw eggs in their shell instead of boiling them can also be pretty dangerous. But not because of what they do to your stomach. They can actually explode after you take them out of the microwave, making them a major burn risk. Number 5. Rice A bowl of leftover rice seems harmless, right? Wrong! Eating reheated rice can make you really sick. But it depends more on how it was prepared in the first place. If the rice wasn't washed before being cooked, it could contain spores of bacteria. Even if the rice is cooked, boiling water won't kill the bacteria. After the rice cools off to room temperature, its bacteria spores can multiply, and reheating it just keeps the bacteria alive. The longer it's sat at room temperature, the more likely it is to contain harmful bacteria. If you dare to eat reheated rice, you risk getting a nasty bout of vomiting and diarrhea that could last between 1 and 5 hours. Hey, include me out! Number 4. Breast milk or formula Hey, moms and dads! Well, you sometimes can reheat regular milk. Breast milk should always be kept out of the microwave. Many moms like to pump breast milk and store it in the freezer, which can be a total lifesaver on trips or if you're leaving the baby with a babysitter. However, when it's time to reheat the breast milk, you should never heat it in a microwave because the uneven distribution of heat can create hot spots in the milk, which can seriously burn the poor baby who drinks it. Additionally, carcinogens can also rear their ugly heads when you reheat breast milk in a plastic bottle or container. According to the FDA, you should first thaw the milk or formula and then reheat it in a pot over the stove. You can also submerge the frozen bottle in hot tap water and let it thaw that way. Number 3. Chicken and processed meat Just like mushrooms, reheating chicken can change the food's protein compounds and make you very sick. 
Unlike other meat, like beef, chicken contains a high amount of protein, which makes reheating it in a microwave a bad idea. If you do dare to reheat a chicken breast or drumstick, it's best to set your microwave to a lower temperature and heat it for a little longer than you would other foods. Well-cooked chicken is good chicken. Chicken isn't the only meat that presents a danger to your health when reheated in the microwave. Processed meats often contain chemicals and preservatives so that they can last longer on supermarket shelves. When you microwave a lot of these processed meats, they can experience chemical changes like oxidized cholesterol. According to research published in the Journal of Agricultural and Food Chemistry, the cholesterol oxidation that occurs after the reheating of processed meats has been connected to cases of coronary heart disease. If you're not sure if the meat you're reheating is processed, it's probably better to err on the side of caution and eat it cold the next day. Chop it up and put it in a cold salad. Your body will thank you. Number 2. Potatoes or potatoes. Ever bring home some leftover fries from a night out? You may want to eat them the next morning, nice and cold. That's because reheating potatoes can be toxic. Similar to rice, it's all about what you do with them once they're cooked. If you place cooked potatoes directly into the fridge after cooking them, it's probably safe to reheat them. However, if they sit out at room temperature for a while after they're prepared, they're more likely to develop a rare bacteria known as botulism. This bacteria can multiply if the potatoes are left out at room temperature for too long. So, unless you put the prepared potatoes directly into the fridge in airtight containers after cooking them, you'd better not reheat them. Cold fries are starting to sound pretty good right about now, aren't they? Hmm, no. Number 1. Celery, spinach, and beets. Wow, sounds like a law firm. Celery, spinach, and beets, how may I help you? So, what do these three foods all have in common, besides being the most anti-junk foods ever? They all have a high concentration of nitrates. Nitrates aren't that big of a deal, right? Well, they are if you're intending to reheat a food that contains them. Nitrates turn into carcinogenic nitrites when reheated. This can be seen especially in spinach that was heated, cooled down, and then reheated. According to the European Food Information Council, nitrites can prevent your blood's hemoglobin from carrying necessary oxygen throughout your body. It's important to note that while these nitrites are dangerous for adults, they're incredibly dangerous for infants from 0 to 6 months. If they do ingest food with nitrites, they are more likely to develop blue baby syndrome, which can be fatal. Along with the foods on this list, there are a couple of other things that are unsafe to heat in the microwave. According to Dr. Timothy Jorgensen, an associate professor of radiation medicine at Georgetown University, anything with a sharp tip can spark a fire, like a toothpick. So, before you stick a leftover sandwich in the microwave, don't forget to remove any toothpicks the restaurants may have stuck in there. Along with items with sharp tips, metal is a big no-no when it comes to microwave cooking. Putting any foil, metal dishes, or silverware into a microwave can start an electrical fire. Seriously, don't try it. So, have you ever reheated something and became sick? Well, share your stories to prevent other people from experiencing the same thing. Don't forget to give this video a like, share it with your friends, and click subscribe. Stay on the Bright Side!